I've always been fascinated by the mysteries of the universe, and today, we're diving into one of the biggest puzzles of all. You see, most of the universe is invisible to us. We can't see it, we can't touch it, but we know it's there. I'm talking about dark matter and dark energy. Um, what if I told you that the key to understanding these cosmic enigmas might be hiding in the very fabric of space itself? Now you might be thinking, wait a minute, isn't a vacuum supposed to be empty? Well, uh, that's what classical physics would have you believe. But quantum mechanics tells us a different story. At the tiniest scales, empty space is actually a seething cauldron of energy, with particles popping in and out of existence faster than we can blink. These are called virtual particles, and they're the ghostly inhabitants of the quantum vacuum. You know, these virtual particles aren't just some quirky side effect of quantum mechanics. They could be the key to understanding dark matter and dark energy. The quantum vacuum is like a cosmic ocean of energy. And just like how the surface of the ocean is never truly still, the quantum vacuum is constantly fluctuating. So, let's think about this for a second. Dark matter is this mysterious stuff that we can't see or touch, but we know it's there because of its gravitational effects. It's like the invisible glue holding galaxies together. But what if some of this dark matter is actually made up of virtual particles from the quantum vacuum? This is where it gets really interesting. Some scientists think that certain types of virtual particles could clump together, forming what we perceive as dark matter. It's like, um, how water vapor can condense into clouds. These particle clouds would be invisible to our telescopes, but they'd still have mass and exert gravitational force, and that's exactly what we observe with dark matter. Now let's talk about dark energy, the force that's causing our universe to expand at an accelerating rate. This is where the energy of the quantum vacuum really comes into play. You see, even in empty space, the quantum vacuum has energy. And according to Einstein's equations, energy and mass are equivalent. So this vacuum energy could be pushing the universe apart. But there's a problem. When we calculate how much energy the quantum vacuum should have, we get a number that's way, way off from what we observe in the universe. We're talking about a discrepancy of 120 orders of magnitude. That's like a predicting the weight of the Earth and being off by the weight of the entire observable universe. Clearly, there's something we're missing. But many scientists believe that understanding this discrepancy could be the key to cracking the mystery of dark energy. So what do you think? The quantum vacuum, far from being empty, could be the source of both dark matter and dark energy. It's a mind-bending idea, isn't it? But that's what I love about science. Just when you think you've got it all figured out, nature throws you a curveball. We're still a long way from fully understanding these cosmic mysteries, but every day, scientists are working to unravel them. And who knows, maybe one of you watching this will be the one to make the next big breakthrough. Until then, keep looking up and keep asking questions. The universe is out there, waiting for us to discover its secrets.